the metaphysical effects of a magnetic pole reversal. And we're going to see also some geomagnetic reversals that happened in the past, what geologists and scientists have found from rock studies. And we know that our Earth's magnetic field is also decreasing very rapidly. We also know that the North Magnetic Pole is traveling very fast from Canada towards Siberia. So what's happening? Scientists have proven that the Earth is currently going through a magnetic pole reversal. So how will this perhaps affect us? Magnetic fields of lava. By analyzing the magnetic fields of lava, we can determine that the last magnetic pole reversal was about 780,000 years ago. That's because when the lava comes out, it locks the magnetic uh, reference points as to where the north and south poles were, and uh, very easily able to find that, where they were when the lava came out. Now, while the fossil records do not show any dramatic changes in animal or plant life, more subtle change may have occurred. What about Neanderthal extinction? Now, this, of course, doesn't talk about uh, volcanic eruptions or um, impact events, uh, astronomical impact events. It talks, just talks about pole reversal, all right? Now, uh, because impact events, of course, and volcanic uh, eruptions could have caused a volcanic winter and uh, an ice age, which, of course, would cause an extinction event. But anyway, the Neanderthal extinction... While the fossil records of animal and plant life do not show any significant changes, John Tarduno, the professor of geophysics at the University of Rochester, kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Proposed a direct link between the Neanderthal's demise and a significant decrease of geomagnetic field intensity which occurred at the same exact period. Additionally, according to Monica Corte, the scientific director of the Niemeg Geomagnetic Observatory in Potsdam, Germany, said it's not a sudden flip, but a slow process during which the field strength becomes weak, very probably the field becomes more complex and might show more than two poles for a while and then builds up in strength and aligns in the opposite direction, she said. Now the ozone layer. One thing to be considered is what will happen to our protective magnetic field around the planet if the pole shift were to happen. Holes with the ozone layer would appear with a lessened magnetic protection so in this scenario, the Earth would be extremely vulnerable to the sun's solar storms and coronal mass ejections, even cosmic rays, solar flares, etc., which would lead to solar radiation. Migratory animals and sea life and GPS. Our GPS capabilities would be eliminated until new coordinates were established. Virtually all commercial airlines would be shut down as well. Migratory animals and birds would be disoriented, as well as the dolphins, whales, and other mammalian sea life. Most likely, a physical pole shift would not accompany a magnetic pole shift, pole shift as once again evidenced by log uh, geological records. Metaphysical implications concerning the Schumann resonance. The Earth's heartbeat is known as the Schumann resonance, which has been recorded at approximately 7.83 cycles per second for presumably thousands of years. In recent years, the Schumann resonance has been rising and was recently recorded as high as 8.90 cycles per second. Speculation infers that the Earth may stop rotating once the Schumann resonance reaches 13 cycles per second. I don't know how they come about with that information. At that point, the Earth would stop rotating for three days and then start spinning in the opposite direction causing a magnetic reversal of the poles. I mean, that would be catastrophic. Under this premise, the magnetic pole reversal may affect the way the hemispheres in our brain interact. Three, well, we, know, we have not been through a uh, pole reversal, so we don't know. I mean, that's just this is all uh, hypo hypothetically um, um, 
hypothetical theoretical uh, directions. Now, under this pre premise, the magnetic pole reversal may affect the way the hemispheres in our brain interact. Three possible scenarios exist in such a situation. Number one, nothing happens to our brains. Number two, the hemispheres of our brains instantly interact with one another, opening up synapses to higher metaphysical abilities. And number three, where we all go crazy. Now, it's estimated to take between 1,000 to 10,000 years for complete magnetic pole reversal to occur, and our current version has been ongoing since the early 1900s. While the ultimate completion may not occur for another 900 to 1,990 1, years, its effect may already be seen. The full reversal could be decades away or much closer. The latest studies from the University of California, Berkeley, state that it could take 100 years, even less, adding that the current weakening magnetic field will proceed to, uh, to a full pole flip. So uh, we can uh, really observe, what we can really observe are the facts. Number one, the magnetic poles have been reversing since early 1900s. Number two, the Schumann residence has been rising. And number three, there has been a recent phenomenon regarding our perception of time, could this be related to the magnetic pole shift? So, uh, if above, so below can be interpreted as within, as within, so without, then we can surmise that major changes are happening in the cosmos and our planet, ultimately within ourselves. So, the uh, thing is that we may not have any metaphysical effect from this magnetic pole reversal. Now, let's go and see what happens with the geomagnetic reversal, according to scientists. So here we are at uh, geomagnetic reversal of the Earth on Wikipedia. And this is what we see between reversals, North Pole, South Pole. And during reversal, we have North Pole blue, South Pole gold. So they're basically all over the place. So depending on where you are on Earth, you may see your compass needle going uh, berserk. Now, the causes. The magnetic field of the Earth and of other planets as well that have magnetic fields is generated by a dynamo action in which convection of molten iron in the planetary core generates electric currents, which in turn give rise to magnetic fields. In simulations of planetary dynamos, reversals often emerge spontaneously from the underlying dynamics. For example, Gary Glatzmeyer and, collaboration and collaborator Paul Roberts of UCLA ran numeral, uh, numerical model of the coupling between electromagnetism and fluid dynamics of the Earth's interior. Their simulation reproduced key features of magnetic field over more than uh, 40,000 years of a simulated time and the computer-generated field reversal itself. Global field reversals at in irregular intervals have also been observed in the laboratory liquid metal experiment. In some simulations, this leads to an instability in which the magnetic field spontaneously flips over into the opposite orientation. The scenario is supported by observations of solar magnetic field, okay, uh, which undergoes spontaneous reversals every 9 to 11, just about every 11 years, in the solar cycle. However, with the sun, it is observed that the solar magnetic intensity greatly increases during reversal, whereas reversal laws on Earth seem to occur during periods of low field strength. So we do have now low field strength. Uh, let's go to space weather. Okay, here we are. Um, that's a solar eclipse. Okay. Uh, what's that? Okay. Gelatinous sun made of plasma. What's that? A new video might change your mind. Okay, wow. What is that? Okay. Okay, let's go to our... Uh, Radiation, here, radiation. The data in the graph corresponds to the peak in the regener Fotzer maximum. And we see here that we have, when cosmic rays crash into Earth's atmosphere, they produce a spray of secondary particles. That's most intense at the entrance of the stratosphere. They discovered the maximum using balloons. And uh, we see that. Uh, the radiation sensors on board helium. Okay. Um, why are cosmic rays intensifying? The main reason is the sun. 
Solar storm clouds, such as coronal mass ejection, sweep aside the cosmic rays when they pass by Earth. During solar maximum, CMEs are abundant and cosmic rays are held at bay. But now, however, the solar cycle is swinging towards solar minimum, allowing cosmic rays to return. Another reason could be the weakening of Earth's magnetic field, which helps protect us from deep space radiation. Yes, we have the weakening of Earth's magnetic field. Let's go into that. Oh, it's not there. Okay, forget it. Let's go back. Okay, and we see that uh, radiation basically has increased about 18% since December 2014. Okay, because of the fact that our radiation is weakening, our, our uh, geomagnetic field is weakening. Now, let's go back to this. Uh, the triggers, some scientists think that geomagnetic reversals are not spontaneous, but rather are triggered by external events that directly disrupt the flow of the Earth's core. Proposed include impact events, okay? They could cause pole reversal because they, of course, disrupt the Earth's flow of the, the Earth's uh, uh, magnetic core. Or events such as the arrival of continental slabs carried down to the mantle, plate tectonics, and subduction zones. Uh, that pushing, pushing the Earth's uh, ma uh, mantle somewhere else, the magma somewhere else. Or the initiation of new, new mantle plumes, or the core mantle boundary. Supporters of this hypothesis hold that any of these events could lead to a large-scale disruption of the dynamo of the Earth, affecting turning off of the geomagnetic field. Because the magnetic field is stable in either the present north-south orientation or reverse orientation, they propose that when the field recovers from such a disruption, it spontaneously chooses one state or the other, such that half the recoveries become reversals. Now, uh, effects, of, effects on the biosphere, reversals... Um, Shortly after the first geomagnetic polarity timescales were produced, scientists began exploring the possibility that reversals could be linked to extinctions. Most such proposals rest on the assumption that the Earth's magnetic field would be such much weaker during reversals. Possibly the first such hypothesis that was high energy particles trapped in the Van Allen radiation belts could be liberated and bombard the Earth. But let's go now to see... Um, I'm not going to go into the magnetopause. It still is estimated to have uh, been at about three Earth radii. Okay, that's another thing. But uh, I'll leave a link. You can see, uh, read more if you're interested. But the geomagnetic reversals, uh, the change in the magnetic field, the magnetic change of the positions of magnetic north and south poles, where they interchange, the Earth's field has altered between periods of normal polarity and um, periods where they are, uh, these periods were called crons. Uh, the reversal occurred statistically random. There have been 183 re reversals over the last 38 million years, on average once every 450,000 years. Now the last one, the Brunus Matayama reversal, was 780,000 years ago, so were about uh, twice as long overdue, right? Now, wide, with widely varying estimates of how quickly it happened, other sources estimate that the time that it takes for reversals to complete is around 7,000 years for the four most recent reversals. Clement in 2004 suggests that during this, uh, the duration is dependent on latitude, with shorter durations at low latitudes, longer durations at mid to high latitudes. So this is our, um, in millions of years, the last one is here, seven, 780,000 years ago. And uh, then we had all these, look at this, two, two in, in, in a million years, one, two, three in another million years, one, two, three, four going back, okay? So uh, in the early 20th century, geologists uh, such as Bernard Bruns first noticed that some volcanic rocks were magnetized opposite to the direction of the Earth's uh, field. The first estimate of timing of magnetic reversal made by Motonori Matuyama in 1920s. He observed that rocks with reversed fields were all of early Pleistocene age or older. Okay, about two and a half 
11,000 million to 11,700 years ago. We know what happened 11,700 years ago. We had a comet impact, the Younger Dryas comet. And uh, a lot of people believe, archaeologists, uh, even Eric von Daniken, that that was the time of the Great Flood. Okay. So at that time, the Earth polarity was poorly understood, and the possibility of reversal aroused little interest. So um, we did have people living before the Great Flood. The thing is, the geological changes are, of course, uh, catastrophic. <laughs> OK, when you have um, er er big earthquakes and things like that. So anyway, I'll leave links below for you for this. And uh, please leave your comments. Thank you so much for your support.